Good morning, and welcome on the St. Mary Morning News. My name is Alexander Thompson, and her name is Hannah Rakowski, I think. Yes, yes it is. Today for lunch is tacos, pretzels, celery fruit, and your choice of milk or juice. That sounds great. Today's weather is partly cloudy with a high of 36 and a low of 27. Now it's time for the completely random, totally pointless, and really odd information that you will only use at the dinner table, and your family's going to be all like, where did you learn that? And you're going to be all like a St. Mary's school or a growing character faith and knowledge segment. If you have no debt and $10 in your pocket, you have more wealth than 25% of Americans. That's... Hannah, Hannah, does that count like... Oh, sure. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't write the script. Really? Um, I mean, like... The, anyway, that's cool. Now it's time cool. for Mr. Cool? That's depressing. Now it's time for Mr. Robson's birthday song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Thanks for that, Mr. Robbins. Now on to our grieving rain cloud segment. Yay! Butterfly in the sky. I can go twice as high. Take a look. It's in a book. A reading rain cloud. Hello, and welcome to today's first installment of Reading Rain Cloud, a segment on the morning announcements where we review books, especially books that I like and what the other 8th graders like too when they review their respective books. Anyways, uh, today's first book will be The Dark is Rising by Susan Cooper. Now, let me just read a, a little bit from the um, flap. On the midwinter day that is his 11th birthday, Will Stanley discovers a special gift that he is the last of the old ones, immortals dedicated throughout the ages to keeping the world from domination by the forces of evil, the dark. He is plunged at once into a quest for the six magical signs that will one day aid the old ones in the final battle between the dark and the light. Thereafter, for the twelve days of Christmas while the dark is rising, life or will, although outwardly normal, is strangely wonderful as he is drawn through terror and delight. This book came out um, in the early 70s. It won the uh, Newbery Honor um, Award book. Uh, Newbery Honor Award, I should say. Um, when I first read this when I was in sixth grade, way back when, uh, I was just enchanted by the story. Uh, the fact that this boy, about my age at the time, um, finding these uh, magical signs, which represent a circle with a plus sign, um, found throughout uh, where he lives in England, and finding that he has these uh, cool powers and he's trying to keep like the evil forces of darkness at bay it was just a really cool concept and uh, it, it kept me up at night just reading it under my covers um, it's a great book it totally preceded the whole Harry Potter phenomenon which is still a good series but if you want something along those lines you want to check this out at our school library but you don't have to take my word for it Gee, thanks for that, Mr. Abbasayo. That was absolutely excellent, and happy birthday to the person that was the Reading Rain Cloud segment. Not the oh, birthday. that was the Reading Rain Cloud. I love Reading Rain Cloud. Um, wasn't that great? <laughs> okay. Also, a reminder from the student council: talent show auditions are in the third week of March, so uh, prepare your act. Yeah, get your act together. We've used that pun like four million times. You know, it's still punny. I apologize. Anyway, thanks for watching, and have a... Blunderful day. Awesome.